In 1970s America, in the age before the mobile phone, CB radio was a powerful tool for truck drivers. Yeah, breaker one nine, this here's a rubber duck. But it was the hit movie Convoy which propelled the use of CB radios into mainstream British culture. And so began our love affair with socializing over the airwaves. First, they were used illegally on the AM band. CB offered its users free, short-distance communication with anyone who had the ability to listen. And so the concept of social networking was born in a truck. And now, 30 years later, you'll probably need to find a trucker if you want to get your hands on a CB. Or 1025, a flat rat, fat cat. This is your rig, Pete, and you've got CB radio. Now, why have you got it? What do you use it for? Is it to avoid the man, outfox the smoky bear? Well, no, it's a, it's a working tool. If you've got a traffic problem in front of you, chaps come the way, shout across and tell you, get off the next junction or wherever, and uh, any, any, any strange town you go in, you don't know where you're going, just go on there and people direct you straight to it. So it's, it's, it's a must, really, these days. Show me how it works. Well, here we are sitting on the A43 now, and I'm going to go north on the M1. So all I will do is say, any break there, go up to 13 North Bay on the one there, Roger. On the old Mickey one, come on. Yeah, Roger there, Brokey. Yeah, clean and green, mate. Gate 15, no problem, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Brokey. Okay, I hope you have a safe trip and uh, keep the old pedal to the metal. Bye, bye. Yeah, big four, mate. Thank you. Bye, bye. I didn't understand a word of it. <laughs> one thing we all remember about CB radio is its own bizarre and slightly baffling language. This is Big G coming over loud and clear on the budgie perch. Any x files out there? We're in Northampton. This is where the 2010 CB experiment begins. I'm going to find out if the people can communicate via CB with my old handle friend here, Gingerbeard. Wish us luck. That's a roger. You hold it there, and you speak, and somebody may pick you up. OK, you say hello. Hello. Smokey on your 6104. Anybody know a good choke and puke? Got a bear on the back door. Give me the sexy light. Come back to me. What's your handle? That means what, what's the sort of nickname you go by? Um, Queen Mary, my name is. Booty Fitzy. Uh, Betty Boop. Sexy Rexy. This is the Flower Man, Northampton Market. Cruising at the double nick and nearly out of go go juice. It's pure poetry, isn't it? It's very hard to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Shepherd works at Thunderpole one of the UK's last remaining CB radio distributors. This love affair with CB radio, when did it begin for you and how? In 1979, um, I, one of my friends had a CB and, and the next thing I went out and bought one and just liked it. It, it was exciting talking to people, uh, especially when you didn't know them. The CB radio was really the mobile phone before we had mobile phones. That's right, yes. Uh, well, in the early 80s, mobile phones weren't a thing you could afford anyway. They, I don't think they were even about in, in the early 80s. People found love through CB radio. Uh, I know lots of my friends that are married. They, they got together because of CB radio. At its peak in the 1980s, the airwaves became literally clogged with illegal radio traffic. Susan's band radio enthusiasts want the government to legalise private two-way car radios, drove through London and Kent today in a mass demonstration. To compound the problem, 1980s saw the climax of an 11-year sunspot cycle, bathing the earth in radiation and distorting the already clogged radio waves. In 1982, the government finally allowed CB fans their own legal frequency, the British Citizens Band. There was a cloak-and-dagger romance to taking to the airwaves and outwitting Smokey Bear, and it whet the nation's appetite for social networking and mass mobile communications, paving the way for the age of internet telephones and making the world that little bit smaller. I'm off for some R&R from my lady breaker at my sweet 99. Over and out.